Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. It is icy as a fucking bitch outside. Judy, all this is ice. Fuck. What are we gonna do? Be very careful. Right, but still. <coughs> you can still slide in boots. Did you bring all your things? Well, I got caramel, I got coffee, Ooh. I got a water bottle, I grabbed a pair of sandals to see if you like them. Oh my one. god. Good idea. Well, they're just a dress on Yeah. I thought, well, if they fit, if she wants to borrow them, I'm yeah. not going to give them to her. Right. But, Whoa. Um, oh my god. Then I could look through, like my cat, but once I just didn't want to go through all that hassle, she has no interest. Right. Or if they wouldn't fit. Right, yeah, they're, I, oh. I mean, I'm really yeah. surprised that they haven't salted because they yeah. really could have. Uh, Last night, they could have been pre-salting knowing tomorrow, that this ice was coming. Tomorrow, it's going to be worse. <clears throat> oh, really? If we get the rain. Today, we're supposed to get yeah. the rain? Yeah. I'm just saying in the morning, it will be because of the, you know. Because it's freezing at night. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I'm not like, going out. Thank God. Today is our Friday, Judy. But like... By the time we get out, it'll probably be a lot better than it is right now. Oh, I'm sure. It's just going to be getting inside. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had the worst night last night. The worst. So, Snooki woke up at 2.30. I tried getting her back to sleep. She said no. And then I started not feeling good. So, I was just like, oh, great. So... I took them outside at 2.30 a.m. And I feel bad for Rocky. Like, he, he would have slept through it. But I know that if I would have oh. gotten out of bed, he would have jumped off. And, you know, if yeah. you heard me go outside with Snooky. Yeah, this is all ice. Look at this stupid person going so fast. Um, so that happened. And I went back to bed. She drank water, went to the bathroom, and she did have to go. And then I woke up again at four. I was in a deep sleep and I thought I heard, what was that? I thought I heard somebody trying to break in. Oh, jeez. And I think it was the people upstairs again. And I, I don't know if they were having an argument or if he was trying to get into the bedroom and she didn't want him in there or something. I don't oh, know. My. But I was under the assumption that someone was trying to break into my place. So I had a panic. So I quick jump out of bed, check the door, everything's fine. <laughs> Go back to sleep, press the snooze button like 50 times this morning. I'm late. I was, I mean, I wasn't, but I felt like I was late. So I was like rushing. Annabelle got woken up from some bum fuck who screwed up again yesterday. It's like, so she's in a pissy mood. Shit, work today? Yeah, so she slept all day yesterday, but, you know, it's like you get to a certain point, at, you know, yeah. like where your body just can't handle those hours anymore. Right. So, she slept all day yesterday, and then she woke up like at five. And then she was out for a while, and then went back to sleep. Yeah, this is all I And you just can't. You know, unless, unless you're on that shift constantly, where your body finally you know gets used to it. Right. But that switcheroo. It's too much. Like people that work the shift work like two on and one off. That oh, just, like, that's crazy. Even... Why? Do, I don't understand why they do that. Like, why well, do they have? Not, that? I mean, a lot of companies have gone to like a straight shift of twelve hours now. Oh. You know, like you, you're always on days or you're always on nights. Yeah. There are still a few. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That just is. Yeah, my throat's off. I've been up forever. Have you? Yes. Great. Son of a Damn. bitch. Uh, oh, and this asshole is riding my ass and back at me again. If you don't like uh, it, just let him pass me. I'm going ride. 20. <clears throat> it's all ice, you guys. It's all ice. I'd rather... Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he's going to run into me, then he can run into me. I can so fake nice. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll fake Parking my neck. Parking lots are going to be bad. Ooh, my neck. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nein. Uh, uh. Also, oh. Ja. Oh. Oh no, this guy's oh gonna goodness. slide right into me. Oh shit, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm relaxed. I'm not relaxed. This one doesn't look too, too bad. <clears throat> Lady Why would you want to be? I don't know. That's just dumb. Don't take your dog out in this. This is wow. awful. Why would you want to be running? <coughs> well, stupid ball. idiot. You know. Just, uh, there's another dog. Yeah, well, it's not temperature wise. It's not no. bad at all. Who's that guy? At least he's picking up his poop. Yeah. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. When people just leave their dog's juices lay there. I've been diligently picking up my dog's shit because I have to. Because now they're, you know, it doesn't go into the grass anymore and disappear. It's in the snow and everyone can see it. Well, especially your bigger Can't dog. Hide man. It. Oh, like, well, they've got big poops. That's what I'm saying. Then you're walking along or, or like they, you find it in your <clears throat> yard right. when you don't even have a pet. Well, and I'm constantly buying poop bags now. I just feel like. I can't have enough of them. Where are you buying them from? Amazon. So what I do is I take a poop bag and I tie it to the handle of their leash. So then if I use it, then when I come back in, I'll tie another poop bag to the handle of their leash. So they always have a poop bag on the handle of their leash. Where do you throw it? I put it um, by the back door and I keep it there until I can gather all of them up and put them in a big bag and then I oh, take like it to the dumpster. Thing. So like once a week, I'll take it to the dumpster. Oh, this is all ice. I was say oh, that's... I'm so scared about it. But because there's two of them, even though there's tiny poo-poos, it's like these bags all add up, you know? Oh, I'm sure. <clears throat> I Having got notified. It's a responsibility. I got notified that I need to have a mammogram. Well, what you ask for? I don't know. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been probably two years. I had mine. Awesome. Did you? When I was off. I just feel like it's, you know, there's nothing wrong. I'm I not feeling mine. any lumps or bumps. I, had, I did it all while I was off. Actually, my boobs have gotten very, like, no, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I'm not, a, I'm upset about it. So, you know, like, when I had to go down for the 3D one, remember, because you took me. Mm hmm And that, and so, I had my, yeah. I had my, my yeah. physical, per se, <clears throat> yeah. while I was off. And I was so panicked, because I'm like, oh my God, it's a physical, am I going to have to... I said, I don't think I can have, like, a pelvic because of my You can't hip. get your legs up, yeah. And blah, blah, blah. And, and then, so I was all nervous about this because I'm like, you know. Right, right. Stressing about it. Yeah. And, it's a stressful moment. And um, sitting with your she's lady like, all out. And so I'm in there and she comes in and da-da-da. And she goes, oh, and I said something. And she goes, oh, no. She goes, you're good for five years. She oh, said, I, I think like, once you reach yeah. a certain age and you've and, had and, so many consecutive and they were negatives. All good, but yeah. I was like, oh my God, you don't know how nervous I was. Yeah. Was, oh, Judy. <laughs> it's so anxious. It is. But then anyway, so that you guys like, well, you do, you are, you know, need a mammogram, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. I said, I, I said, it's not that I am afraid to have them. I said, I'm not. I said, but do I have to go to Oshkosh for the 3D? I said, it's right. such a pain in the butt. Right. So it's not Get like it's right there. Right you have to go into Oshkosh. Now, why did you need one? They found a lumpity yeah, bump. They yeah. found it was just, uh, a fatty, fatty tissue. tissue yeah. And that's what happened to me, too. But it was just because I it had never been there before. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I said, if I can have it done right here, I said, I, I'm... Do it. Squeeze them. I said, you know... And she goes, well, they generally, like, once you have the 3D, she said, but I'll put it in da-da-da-da. And so I just had it done. Oh, you the did? one. And, yeah, it was fine. And then I I still have not ever had a colonoscopy, but I did the, oh, the other. You did the poop? Mm -hmm. You sent your shit in? Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, actually. I'd rather, I'd rather do, do that, too. I'd rather do that than have to do I don't have to process. do that, I don't think, for two years. It, it oh, really my. isn't that bad. I mean, I, I mean, don't want to talk about it right now, but. It just was. It's not that. Could you imagine? I can't imagine going under the knife 
or under the the gas or whatever for them to stick a tube up my ass. Fuck it. Well, Nothing goes up my ass. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. Oh, I know. No, I'm just saying. That's why I, I was like, nope, I just... And especially, like, this is the second time I've done it and everything's been fine. Yeah. And there's no history in my family. You know. Oh, of colon of, cancer of colon or anything. Cancer or any, any issues with the bowels or you know anything like that. Good. So. Oh, this um, is crazy. That's good, yeah. But I did. I had it all done. Good. Up, I'm like, well, might as well. Yep. It's like, it's a pain in the... I know. You know, but everybody, you should take care of yourself. You should take care of yourself, but if you're anxious, then don't. But you can just talk. Just, Mine is yeah. Just, uh, well, uh, it sounds like you have a great doctor. She. Not all of us she, have that. I will say she doesn't like jump in to like. Well, here, try this. Here, try this. Try that. Does that? Yeah. That. And and actually, did I tell you a couple of my blood things were off? Oh really? From the time I, I had to have blood work done in August for physical to be able to have surgery. Oh. Ricola. And then I had. What was off? I can't remember right, but the, um. Like your thyroid. My sugar. <gasps> what they have you do for that? My sugar. <gasps> and my cholesterol from August to October. Okay. And when I say it was off, it was it a little elevated. Because for me, it's always in the normal range. I've never had an issue with any right. of that kind of stuff. So I'm panicking about that because I'm like, what the flip? It? I said, what could have happened from August to and in two months time? A medication. And that's what I asked her. I said, could it be any of the medication that they gave me? Or can it be too, like, it, the um, because I'm inactive? Compared to what? Mm. what I the, think what the, I think um, that um, pain medication, that Gavantin or whatever they had you on, what was that? Oxycodone. No, well oh, that, but um, I mean the the weird one. Gabapentin. Oh, gabapentin. That maybe could yeah. elevate your sugars. But you I, don't even eat sweets. But anyway, so she was just like, "It's not alarming, but that's just we're gonna keep we're gonna yeah. retest you in six months, and we'll." She said, we'll address it more then. She said, because it's not, mm -hmm. like, when I look at it, it's not like, oh, my gosh. She said, but it has elevated for, and mm -hmm. she was like, I can't really, we can't pinpoint it right now. You know. And I'm like, okay. Then when Mark's looking at it, he's like, ah, that's nothing. He goes, my drug right. was I'm like, right. I said, I know, but for me, I said, it's, when you see a change Something like different. that for me in a two-month period of time, I get a little, me. Eh. Right, I'm sure you're fine. Oh, I know. I... <sighs> Not at, but you know, but once you talked to her, then I felt better about it. But like leading up to, it's all the anxiety. You know, I know because you know you get to read your shit on yeah. on your computer now. Right. Then half of it, it's like, what the hell does that mean? I need a sympathetic doctor. <laughs> No, Angela, I keep telling you, you are not going to find one that's going to tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's just no mm. professional. Angela, you never that, have to put your legs up in the stirrups. There's not going to be one that ever tells you. Angela, your coochie is perfect. <laughs> it's pristine like Barbie's. Oh, God. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Angela, you can just have whatever you want. It doesn't right. matter. Your sugars look great, Angela. Your cholesterol is perfect. Just keep <laughs> doing what you're doing. You can have sweets every once in a while. <laughs> you can go swimming leisurely. Don't worry about any other exercise, like lifting or, you know, <laughs> really doing anything strenuous. Because, you know, I'll hire somebody for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on watching TV. <laughs> okay, Just relax. Two more. Two more. Two more for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just feel like I have brought up so many times about being, about having anxiety. And either, and then when I really want something, like the dog thing, she says, her nurse says to me, well, when you were at your appointment, you never said that you had anxiety. 
I'm like, I told her I was having literal panic attacks. I'm having literal panic attacks. I am very good at hiding when I'm having a full blown panic attack. Before I would dart out the room right, and need to right. go outside. Now, if I have a panic attack, no one in my direct vicinity knows I'm having one unless I say something. But my actions, it's all up here. It's not anything physical anymore. I don't like really, I feel like I'm dying. I have never had them before. You're so lucky. No. And I remember what I told you I had my first one when I had to have the injection. And, and then I, you know. I literally, mm -hmm. and now I have, not like you, but I have a more Frequently. often. Where you, you're you realizing like that you're having it. aware of it. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so then I'm just trying to be like, there's nothing you can do about it. It's going to have just, whatever's going to happen. If, if you faint, if you pass out, it's going to happen. What are like, or like situations, you know, like. Now I, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? There's nothing I can do to change the to situation. Change it. Yeah. So stop stressing. Stop mm -hmm. trying to, because there's nothing I can do. Right. Where or before I, say to, I would just be like. Yeah. Thinking about I, it. I, or I say to myself, Angela, you need to live in the present. If yep. Is this a problem that you're worried about that's going to possibly happen? Right. Or yep. that had already happened that you can't change? So you're living in the moment now. You have a roof over your head. You've got food. Mm. You've got everything you need. You have two healthy children. Yep. You don't need to worry about what might happen or what's happened in the past. Or That's what, what other people are thinking. Wow. Other people can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my neck. And oh. I, I still didn't get my order. Dang it. What order? I tell you. I have an order coming yet. Oh. Are those your Uggs? No. I was going to say. These are my... I thought you are going to wear your Uggs today. I'm not in the slop. No, oh, these are my... Uh... So your Uggs are not <laughs> going to work in the snow <laughs> or the slop. They're just going to be for when it's chilly outside and no snow on the ground. Uh, pretty much. No, these are um, my Sorrells. So, yeah. I bought you a pair. I know. Annabelle wears them. Well, I didn't buy it for flipping Annabelle. Well, she's happy about it. <laughs> well, I thought these would be good because they have the rubber part on the bottom. Right. Today. Right. For the slop. Yeah, I'm scared about it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that she's enjoying them. She is. That's funny. Okay, we have to go. Yeah, we do. We're at 18 minutes. Well, folks, remember, get your... Checkup in. Get your checkup in. Get your flu Start shot. Start 2023. See now the flu shot. That's still oh if you God, want. Look at how long my hair is. Because I have yeah. never had one in my life. Right. I want this much hair off. You always say that. Then you never get that much. No, hair I do. Off. I get it off. No, you don't. No. No, you don't. I'm gonna get it to shoulder length. So I'm gonna get this much okay. off. It's about four inches. Yeah. Four four inches. Gross. I need to get my nails one more time before spring. Before <sighs> spring. Put that again. Why? I didn't enjoy them. You didn't? I did. But then, mine, didn't. But then mine got really long. <laughs> yeah, really long. And then I peeled them all off. Yeah. Well, because one broke off. Right. And I peeled it off. Right. Okay, everyone. Have a happy have a, thirsty th Thursday. Yep. Have a good Thursday. This is our Friday. We're not doing anything that I can think of. And happy new year. Happy Be safe. Happy new year. Don't do anything stupid. Be safe. Yeah. Call for a Call cab. for a ride. Call for a driver. Don't do it. I'm not going out. I have Angela's number on speed dial. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just right? Kidding. Could you imagine? I actually don't have any plans. It's just not gonna relax. It's not like it was before. No, it's it's like amateur night for everybody. Where you would have you would go out and you would have a steak and then you'd go dancing. Well, you know, and they used to have like you'd go out for dinner and they they up the price so much on that. Oh, night. do they? And then let's say you have a reservation, and mm. then 
they're either late or they're rushing you through your dinner because they overbooked themselves to get it's all this. Too bad. Like, no, I'm not doing it anymore. Bye, everyone. Have now a great weekend. We'll see you guys later.